This is part six of our Snuggle Bear tutorial and we're going to be making his bow. So we're going to crochet this and I first start with a slip knot. The easiest way I can explain it is you tie a bow and then you completely pull out that end. And so a slip knot should be that the end of the yarn when you pull it tight, the loop doesn't move, but your working part of your yarn, you can make the loop smaller or larger. And so there's our slip knot. So now we're going to chain. Uh, for this, I chained 15. And this bow is going to be a lot larger on this than what's on the teddy bear. And that is because this is a larger gauge yarn. So you can see the stitches. Once you chain 15, you do one more. And then to go our next row, you skip that chain and go to the second chain. And we do a single crochet, yarn over, pull through. So you have two loops on the hook yarn over, pull through two loops. So go through your next chain, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through. And you're going to do this all the way down and you're gonna count and you're gonna do 15 single crochets all the way down to create your first row. And this is a very simple bow tutorial. And I think it's great for a beginner. Once you get to your 15th single crochet, we need to turn our work to go to the next row. So we have to go up. So we do chain one, turn our work. And now we're going to do 15 more single crochets. And we're going to go into that first single crochet to start. And you want to make sure you're counting and this is how you keep your rows even. And we're going to do 15 more all the way down. Once you do your 15th, you're doing it in your last single crochet. Now we need to go up again. So chain one and turn our work. And now we start 15 more single crochets. And this is a nice easy one that you can do uh, just to start crocheting to see how big you want your bow. I think I end up doing five rows on this. So now we're to the end and again remember you chain one and then turn your work. And then you can kind of see how you want it. And I tried to get pinch the middle to see what a bow would look like, and I felt like it needed one more. So maybe it's six rows. So now we pull through, and then we're just gonna weave in our ends. After we pulled that end out, and then I do a little knot, and then we'll weave it in, and we'll do that to the other side. And then we take some extra yarn, and we do a knot in the middle. And then I wrap the end around one way and wrap the other end around the other way to create the center of our bow. And then we're gonna tie it in a knot again at the back. And you kind of just adjust your bow. How you want it. And now I weave in the end and knot them together. To secure everything and so there's how I made a little bow but I do have the little tie that goes all the way around so you could just stitch it on like this onto him um, or if you wanted to create like a little necktie what I do is I take some yarn and we're just going to create a chain so first I put it through the needle so I can feed it through the back side of this bow To secure it in place and then we're going to do a slip knot so it's just like making a bow 
except for you pull that end all the way through. Once that's secure, we're gonna take our crochet hook and I use what's recommended on the yarn that you're using, what size crochet hook to use. And then we're just going to start doing our chain. And how many chains you do just depends on how big around the neck is of your bear or circumference. So I chain some and then I take my little bear and I wrap it around to see about how many more we need to do. And this kind of looks cute even with the oversized bow. So we wrap them around, really connect, he does. So I take that end of that working yarn and I put it around the front of the bear. And I slip stitch it through the yarn of that bow. I pull it through and then do a slip stitch, pull it through our loop that's on the hook, make that loop big so it doesn't fall out, cut your yarn, pull it all the way through so it doesn't fall off, and then you can position the bow you, the way you want it, and then you can sew it to secure it onto your bear. And then I'll show a speed up version. I did these exact steps, but just in the blue, uh, pixie ducks yarn to match the bear. So then you can sew it to stitch it down in place. And that's how you make a very quick and easy beginner's little bow or bow tie for your teddy bear. So that's the end of the tutorial for our Snuggle Bear teddy bear. I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Please follow and like for more. Happy crafting!